In this tutorial, I am going to throw light on the method by which we can define the body of a member function outside the class. See, the method is quite uh, easy. What we can do is, we will have to give the prototype of that function inside the class. Like. See, in this example, I am uh, going to take a class called laptops. These are the instance variables. For the CPU name, I have uh, declared a string variable, CPU, sizes asset, which has been declared by using the const keyword of C++. Then RAM, float speed, float price, RD is a normal member function of the class. Now see. Here we are getting the class terminated with semicolon. Now what is this float billing? See this part carefully. This is nothing else but uh, the prototype of the function that we def want to define outside the class. So listen carefully. The prerequisite is if you want to define the body of a member function outside the class, its prototype has to be given within the class. So I intend to write the member function billing outside the class. So here I am giving its prototype. Float is the return data type. Billing is the name of the function. As uh, I am not required to pass any parameters, its parentheses are empty. Take a look at the class. Laptops. These are the instance variables. CPU, RAM, speed, price. RD is the member function which will be used to read the values into these instance variables. This is the prototype of the function billing. Here I am getting the class terminated. Afterwards, see, here I am defining the body of the function billing which uh, belongs to the class laptops. Notice the syntax carefully. The, the, the first line of the method function, I will have to give the return data type followed by name of the name of the class scope resolution operator this is scope resolution operator then the name of the function right so the function is quite uh, straightforward in this function i have declared a local variable called bill it is going to contain uh, that final bill amount i have made a hypothetical condition if price is greater than or equal to 1 lakh then bill should be uh, there should be a discount of 10%. Final bill has been calculated. Very simple logic. Then uh, the bill amount will be returned back. Now we will have a look at the function main. Here I have declared laptops class object called lobj. Then through lobj.rd I am invoking this function that I have shown you before. LOBJ.RD will invoke this function RD and uh, current object is LOBJ so whatever values will be inputted by the user into the instance variables namely CPU, RAM, speed, price they will go into the instance variables of LOBJ. Now afterwards I am invoking the function billing uh, LOBJ.billing the control will go into the billing function which has been defined outside the class the bill uh, final bill amount will be calculated that will be returned back and subsequently that will be assigned to the variable bl when the control will go back to the function main 